Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 15th of April and we have new mods. This is the trailer edition. Um, we have a couple of mods from yesterday um, because obviously the um, add-on straw harvest came out and I was trying to get the videos out on that. It is Ormageddon. Um, we've had quite a few of these mods by 76 max. Two of them from yesterday here, and there are two today, plus we've got loading wagons, plus we've got loader, plus we've got other... It's, it's all trailers, but we have got a load to look at. Um, first up is the ORP... Is the, oh, it's an ORM, but it's the ORPE um, 180 low loader. This will use five slots. We'll have a look at them in operation in a moment. I'm going to... Uh, grab the JCB and we'll kind of go through them one at a time and look at the operations of them. It's a small loader, there's a few options available. They're nicely made mods, 76 Max is putting out some good stuff at the moment, it's really cool. Um, next to it we have got the, um, this is the ORM80, I want to get the one right, that's the ORM, no it's not. Yes, the ORM TP80, it's a tipper. Yep, that's that one there. Um, next to that, we've got the... Uh, hang on, I'm going to get the right way around. This is the ORM TP240. We'll see when we hook up. And that one there is the ORM140. Uh, so apart from the small one there, which is four slots, each one of these is five, which isn't too bad on the slot count either. They're not massive trailers, I think the little small one's only an 8,000 litre. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the TP because it's the, the uh, they're both like um, tippers, dump trailers. But yeah, nicely detailed. Very cool indeed. So, we'll have a look in store. Uh, you'll find the low loader under low loaders. The ORPE 180, 23 grand to buy. And like I said, it's only five slots, which is pretty good. No options available, you get what you get. It's the trailer, it's in yellow, and it's right there. The trailers themselves are all under trailers. Actually, everything's going to be under trailers apart from the other low loader, but... So, We've got the ORMTP uh, 80. That's the minus four slot one, the one in the middle just there. That you can have standard, or with the box on the side of it, like toolbox on the side, which adds an extra 200. 8,000 litre capacity, no options, it comes in yellow. We've got the ORMTP 240. Um, this one has got uh, some different selections with regard to colour. You can have red on the top. Now this does say design colour, yellow colour chassis and then red colour chassis. The only thing I could tell that changed was there's a little red bar, I think the piston underneath. Does the front support leg change? No, it's literally just right in there underneath. It changes to red. Tire options, we've got Michelin and we've got um, Trelleborg. Sorry, I was looking at the capacity. This one doesn't change. It's it's not the TPs. It's the other one that changes. Sorry, it's because there's so many trailers. It's completely thrown me today. Um, this actually, just thinking, saying today, this might not post until Thursday morning. Depends. We'll see. I apologise if it does. Uh, then we got the option of decals. We can have black decals, white decals, white decals with a box on, black decals with a box on and back to standard again. So those are the options on the ORMTP240. And then this one here is the ORM140. This is the one we can change capacity of. So again, standard, you don't get any other colour choices on this one, you get the trailer, but we can have a 14,000 litre, 15,500. No tyre choice options, you get what you get. So, let me grab the JCB. We'll look at the animations on the uh, tip functions, the opening and closing of the low loader. Um, whether this has a 
locking script. I did bring a tractor over here on it. I wasn't going mad speed-wise. It didn't seem to move around at all or anything like that, which was pretty good. It does have beacons in the back. Very nice. Uh, lights. Indicators. Lights off. Uh, so we unfold it. L1 and X. Puts those legs down the back supports, but it leaves the ramps up. And then I think is it L1 and right stick side to side? Yep. So L1 and right stick to the left drops the ramps. L1 with uh, right stick to the right raises the ramps. Now, if I fold this again and those legs get put away, you cannot do the ramps at all until you've lowered those legs. So it only gives the option to raise and lower those legs once those uh, legs are down and it's unfolded because you've got those two support bars as well that lock the ramps into place. So that will only drop down once you've unfolded and those legs have touched the floor. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It does have straps as well, all across the flatbed. So if you don't want to use it for um, uh, for transporting vehicles, you can put pallets on it. By all as well, if you want to, it will strap them down. Um, very nice indeed. So there we go. That's the low loader. The ORPE 180. Little tip up. I think it's a nice one, this. It's a bit pricey for an 8,000 litre, but it's a nice mod. Opens up, like so. Tips up, nice smooth animation. Nice high tip. Close the button again. Be able to see the piston in the other one. So just cut that, that will carry on dropping down. Then we've got the ORM TP uh, 240. Yep. <laughs> Same tip function, just a bigger trailer. Oh, it's just the bottom of the piston. It's just the actual seal section at the bottom that's red, but God, it's got a high tip on that, hasn't it? Very nice indeed. Leave that to go. And then the Lizard ORM 140. I think you get the message. Rear beacon on this one too. Oh, I missed the rear beacon on the one. Sorry about that. There is a rear beacon just under there. Little one, and there is one on that as well. Didn't even see those. Anyway, that's the ORMs from 76 Max. Uh, moving on, I will grab the JCB because we're going to need that. We've got the Joskin Wago Loader. This is by White Ball Modding. I'm, I'm sure on FS17. Was it White Ball Modding or was it Black Sheep Modding that brought out the Wago Loader? There were two or three options uh, or variations of this. You could have longer ones and shorter ones. And if I recall correctly, I could be misremembering, but I'm not sure that I am. Um, the rear ramps on the Wago Loader, on the FS17 version, were frames. So you had holes in between all those. And I always remember driving vehicles up and they used to drop through around this area. It was always a bit of an issue. Again, I drove a vehicle up on this a little, a little while ago and I'll grab one in a second. I might even put the JCB on it. And um, didn't notice a problem. This does have straps as well, so you can use this for bales, as well as being a transport trailer for vehicles if you want to go down that route. Uh, rear ramp, L1 and... No, not going to do. I'll open the up menu. They all seem to be different. Which helps actually attach the trailer, wouldn't it? Oh, it, well, I was right. L1 and right stick up and down. It's because I hadn't actually attached the trailer. Smooth animation. Beacon on the back. Full transport. This you will find under low loaders. It was right next time we looked at a minute, actually. 
There we go. The Wagyu loader, 8,500 to buy. Uh, it will only set you back uh, four slots. Only four. Now, it does say this trailer can transport other vehicles. A bale trailer is used to transport bales. There's not a separate one under baling technology. This is it. That's the one. You've got the straps with it. Um, options available. We can change the rim colour to anything you want to match up. But the green stays the same, the Joskin green. But you can change the rim colour to anything you want to. Those are your options on that one. What I am going to do, though, I'm thinking, because I've I put all, brought all the trailers out and suddenly thought, I know I checked the other one, but I can't now remember if I did check this one. Please work, don't fall through. Ah, oh, there we go. Spot on. I mean, I'm right on the edge, but... There's enough room to get a fair-sized tractor on that, and you'll get a few bales on it and stuff as well. Nice, neat mod. Very nice indeed. Moving on. Let's just toggle that off a minute. We've got these. More Lizard gear. Uh, these are the Lizard K150 trailers by LDM Studio. Uh, these are, I think according to the mod tab, these are French trailers. So it comes with this one, is I suppose the standard one. Then you've got the class edition in the class colours as well. Another tidy mod. This is the one that's got a lot more options with regard to size, like capacity. I keep thinking with each one. Is it this one or was it another one? I'm losing my mind. But yeah, very nice tidy mods. Um, again, under trailers. So we've got the lizard, lizard, oh, the lizard, the lizard K150, 10,500 to buy. Uh, this will use 13 slots. They both do, and then you've got the K150 Class Edition. Um, they are, for all intents and purposes, the same trailer. It's just a different colour scheme. Um, this one we can change the capacity: 15,000 litres, 16,500, 17,000, 18,000. We can have the option of Michelins or Trailer Borgs, and those are your options. It's the same on the class edition, 15,000, 16, 5, 17, 18, but there's a white top to this one as well to match in with the class colour scheme, and we've also got Michelins or Trailer Borgs. 13 grand with the full extension option on that. Not bad at all. So, same again. It's weird just doing all trailers. <clears throat> There's normally a place to board building of some description or a tractor or a three metre cultivator or something like that. Peek on the back. Lights. Indicators. Nicely detailed underneath as well. And then tip animation. Well, that one on grain door, which you can see the grain door open. Let me just close that down again. That's the grain door one. And then the other one will tip all the way up because I set that one on uh, standard tip. It's a bit clunky on the hookup. I don't know if you, you noticed that, but. There we go. Again, nice animation, nice and smooth. Nice mods. Not bad at all. I'll leave that to drop down on its hydraulics. Moving on to the loading wagons we've got. I said they were under trailers, they're not. We've got loading wagons as well. Just remembered. We've got this, the Bergman. This is the Bergman Carex 38S. We've got the Repex 34, haven't we, I think. But this is the Carex. Um, this is by, where's my sheet, Baki. Um, again, very nice. Um, the Repex has got a more curved front to it, if I recall correctly. Kind of curved round like this. And it's 34,000 litre. This is the Kerex 38S. This is a 38,000 litre. It's a little bit more expensive, but only a, a fraction. But you do get an extra 4,000 litre capacity on it. Lots of detail.
farm, farm dog loves the detail in the Bergman. It's always good. Uh, you'll find this under loading wagons. So, right there, the Carex 38S, 83,600 to buy. Um, five slots, so not too heavy on the slot count. 38,000 needs capacity, 150 horsepower required. It will pick up your straw, your grass, um, your hay. Um, it will take, it's a forage trailer, so as well as a loading wagon, it can take chaff and it can take um, silage as well. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the uh, Repex. Yeah, more curved front than the Repex. And the Repex is a little bit cheaper, but a fraction. The Repex only requires 120 horsepower compared to 150 that the Carex needs. But other than that, um, pretty much the same. So what we'll do, I have already prepared some swathage that we will collect. So we'll turn it on. Drop the pickup. Nice wide pickup, not having any problem with the swaths at all. Sometimes you find the pickups are a bit narrow, they miss bits on the turn, those kind of things, but doesn't seem too bad at all. Not bad. So there you go. That's the Bergman Carex 38S by Backy. So we move on to the last of the mods for today and yesterday, um, or the day before and yesterday. It depends how when you're watching this and when it gets posted. Um, we have got the um, SIP SIP. Pioneer 20. These are Slovenian, I think it says in the website. And it's by BGamer003. Um, these are kind of really old-fashioned, small. They're designed to be used on small farms. The capacity is not very big at all on these. Sorry, I'm so busy trying to reverse that up. Um, but what I do like on these as well is you've got an option of aluminium sided or you've got the wood slat sided. And I love that look. I think that's fantastic. You notice as well that that one's flatter. That opens up. So it opens up into this configuration when you open it up completely. But these are nice, nice looking mods. Something a little bit different as well. Very cool. Uh, this is also under loading wagons, right at the very end. 3,400, so really cheap. 20,000 litre capacity. When you think that one's a 38 for 83 grand, 3,400 for a 20,000 litre capacity. That's brilliant. It's cheap as chips. Does all the same things. It'll pick up your grass, your hay, your straw. You can put chaff and silage in it as well if you want to. Um, very cool. And it only requires 40 horsepower to pull. So you just you can't go wrong. So what I'm going to do, I think, I was going to use the JCB, but I did bring over my little Massey just to to do this but I just realised what did I miss on the settings I missed something didn't I options that was what I missed we didn't look at the options uh, main colour we can go from white and black and that's the front section if you notice that front section changes colour so we can have it white or black uh, attachable top and that's for the PTO and your um, attachment bar so you've got a low attacher or you've got a high attacher and it just kind of slightly repositions the PTO under it or over it depending on where you have the attacher so a low or high attacher aluminium sided or wood slat sided the wheel set up standard or wide slightly more flotation on there to spread the load so to speak but even with a few changes on that and it takes up to 3,500. <laughs> it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So, we can fold that down like so for transport. Going under incredibly low bridges, whatever it might be. Open up and we're good to go. Start her up. Drop down the pickup. And away we go. Fantastic, I really, and it's really weird, and it's a simple thing. It's the smallest one out of all the mods that, that I've done on, on this particular episode. But this one has really made me smile. I love the wood slat side to it. I love the simplicity, the price, everything. Um, the textures are great. The detailing's brilliant. I just, yeah, it's really nice. I like it. And there you go. That's it for the mods for today. Um, like I say the trailer edition. 
I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.